So just one more example, just a reminder that you'll need to practice the galvanic and electrolytic diagrams before you practice these ones so you know how to set it all out. So here we have uh, the question would be what would an iron and copper electrode look like? Not the answer which is kind of here. Uh, and so what we will do then is go straight to the data booklet. So try and draw this entire thing here including the cell notation with just having the question copper versus iron. So let's have a look at kind. So always assume it goes to two plus. So that's not that's only going to one plus. Get rid of that one. We found it last video. There it is there. So that's a three plus and we don't want that one. And look for the iron going to a two plus and so that one is here. Uh, so last time we had the zinc, did we not? Which is the zinc is not here. And there's another iron distractor that we don't want. Okay, uh, and so that one's more positive. And so this one you're going to have to reverse and then reverse the sign uh, 0 0.45. So 0 0.45 plus 0 0.34 gives us our answer over here. Now this one's drawn in the opposite direction, which is fine. Uh, but you must make sure that this now is labeled the cathode and the copper is gaining the electrons and the iron is losing the electrons so the electrons are going in this direction salt bridge potassium chloride is written in there i would write uh, c2 plus ions here and iron 2 plus ions here as well and apart from that um, the electrons uh, this one's actually not labeled oh, it's labeled kind of that's counted as labeled and it's not written also as uh, this one here will be positive because the uh, electrons are going in this direction here. So this one here is negative. Uh, and so this actual diagram is missing one thing. Okay, so the electrons are coming off here and they're being attracted here naturally because it's a galvanic cell so this is positive because the copper is taking them away and you can see there's a, a layer of copper being formed here and this one is uh, getting smaller so again just start with nothing more than just two metals go to your data booklet to get the information and write all of this out on a blank piece of paper without looking